Welcome again to Mr. Muhammad's virtual classroom for 8th grade science. Today, we're going to focus on notebook pages 186 and 187 of our interactive science notebook, ISN. So hopefully you've already completed the warm up by going to my daily assignments, scrolling down to page 186 and completing that in at least three sentences. Today's target can be seen right here. We're going to focus as we are in this unit on waves, types of waves, characteristics and whatnot. Today we're going to deal with how waves reflect and bend. And so we're going to accomplish this target by doing another FET that we were going to do in the classroom. And thankfully we can still accomplish it uh, virtually because you can do this again on a computer or on a cell phone. So if we look at the notebook setup, we have a sheet that you can print out and tape that sheet top and bottom to page 187. Now, for some reason you cannot print this out. All you need to do is just get a blank sheet of paper and focus on these boxes, number six, seven, eight. And then for number nine, you need space to write another box for number nine and another box for number 10 and then space to write. And then somewhere on the page, you're going to copy this key. So you can do that on a separate sheet of paper or write in your notebook if you have that notebook, but you cannot print out the actual activity guide. That's fine. Now you'll notice with the activity guide, and if you write this out in your notebook, I want you to add a few things to make this a little bit more clear and easier to follow. And so you'll see what I have done. I'll start with the key. So I have this key that I want you to add right here to the bottom. And as always, just pause the video. If we start to go too fast and get the things done that you need to get done uh, before you move on. So there's a key here. So I have a, a section of that that represents uh, a laser and a beam. Now, what does that have to do with? Well, if you go to our website and scroll down, you're going to see these two links for this FET. We got the activity guide, which opens up there. And then we have the bending light simulation which when you click on it opens right here. And so we're going to be focusing on the intro tab and you'll be able to go to the prisms and other tools on your own and do all kinds of stuff. There's also a part two to this lab that we may do. And this is the setup. And so if you look at this, you'll notice you have a laser to where when you push the button, the beam comes out, push the button again and it, the beam turns off. And then you have what's called two uh, media or mediums. So two types of material. So medium is just a fancy word for material. So in this case, we got air and we got water. So air is on the top half, water is on the bottom half, and the laser pointer is pointed at an angle going into the water. And so that's what this represents uh, on the activity guide is we are adding these vertical lines to represent this vertical line here in the simulation. Now for the pur our purpose, I want just a solid line. They used a dashed line. I want to use a solid line for a certain reason. So we got solid lines throughout. Then we have the laser pointer with the laser beam always hitting right at this corner of uh, what's called the normal. This is called the normal. And we want to maintain this angle. So you'll notice it says for number three, it says push the bottom right uh, click on reset all. So make sure, because you can take this and move it around, but we want to make sure when we do the actual activity, that we have it where we need to have it. So we got to hit that reset button. So it goes back to its original position. You follow me? Now we also need this protractor. 
So we're gonna take this protractor and we're gonna place it precisely like this. So we need to have the zero lined up with the normal, but then we need to drop it down so that the 90s are even with the, the medium, the boundary between the two mediums. You follow me? So it needs to look like that. So now when I turn the beam on, I need to adjust it just a little bit right there. All right, that looks good. So it needs to be set just like that. And once you've done that, then all you need to do is just go step by step and follow the instructions. And so one through five are instructions. Number six, they're showing you this is air, this is water. So you need to make sure and verify, do you have air here? Do you have water here? And if so, you turn on the laser beam, bam. And we're going to draw what happened to the beam as it traveled from one medium to the other. And so if you take a look at this and look at your screen, you notice you got two beams. You follow me? So this beam right here is bouncing. So we call that the reflection. And so when we draw that, we're gonna to wanna to draw it according to our key with a dashed line. This is like the, the most common mistake that our students make when we're doing this activity. If, cause we can't like fade it in and out like they did. So we're gonna use a dashed line and you don't have to use colors like I did, but you can, um, but you can do it in pencil, but we need a dashed line for every reflection. If there is no reflection, then we don't draw anything. And then we need to keep the line solid for every time it goes into the next medium. You follow me? Now you'll notice, does this continue in a straight line? It does not, it bends. So what that means is it refracts. That's another word for bending. So when we go to draw what we need to draw in this box, all we need to do is Turn that down a little bit, you can see it. All right, all we need to do is, there we go. Something like that. So here we, we, we have the, the laser beam hitting. You notice it does not keep going in a straight line if you look at your simulation. And then the reflection, we just use dash lines going off into the other area. You understand? So now all you need to do is go through each scenario because we have number seven, water and water, eight, air and air, and then we got some mystery substances, and then you need to answer the questions, and you can write right on the sheet, or if you're doing it on separate paper or in your notebook, you can just write in a space around your box, so long as you have one through 10, you need an angle right here, all right, and you need to write the today I learned. And once you've done that, you are done. Now let's look at the protractor real quick though. Cause I know some of us don't have experience with protractors. So let's take a look. So it looks like my protractor's off a little bit. Let me fix it up. Bring it down. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so this right here, this is called the incident ray, by the way. I don't know if they mentioned that. But this is the incident red because it's going into, it's going out of the laser into whatever. The air, in this case, is going through air into water. So it's the incident ray. And then this is the reflected ray and the refracted ray. But what is the angle of the incident ray? Take a look and see what you come up with. If this is 30, this is 60. What do you come up with? Well, let's take a look. So if this is 30, looks like we got 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. This would be 45 degrees. You follow me? Now the reflected ray, 
what would that be? So this is the reflection. So now we're reading from here. And we got 30, 35, 40. Looks like again, 45. Does that make sense? All right. Now what about the refracted ray? Let's take a look. Well, we, now we're reading from here, zero to 90. So we start this way. We go 10, 20, 30. That would be 40, 45. That's if it was going in a straight line, but it's not. It actually bends to about 30, what? 32, 33, something like that. But you get the point. So you can write that in there. I don't, when you get to number 10, they're gonna have you do some stuff. So when it comes time to measure the angles, that is how you do it. Complete one through 10 in the Today I Learn, and then you are done with this assignment. And hopefully also, you are submitting your notebook check sheets for pages 168 to 179. I sent a video out on that so that you can complete that notebook check, get it turned in to me, and I can update our grades in Infinite Campus. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, email me, and we look forward to, uh, to working with you again tomorrow. And until then, take care, be well.